Yeah, okay, I reached the size limit. There's a truck coming from Besser. I was just talking about, you know, roads at all different angles. They don't use the land very well, rather than a grid system. A good 90 degree angle for a grid system. You usually divide everything up in little boxes. It's a little less um, aesthetic, you know, aesthetically pleasing. southern uh, west to east road from Johnston to Long Lake. This would be a good spot. Cut right through here. If Besser was willing to give up this little chunk of property, which I assume they own, south of their establishment. You know, I mean, it wouldn't cut into their little road there, their entryway. There. That would be an easy way for people, you know, who live in the residential area on the northern end or northern half of the east side. You know, which we're on right now. We're on the east side of the river. People in town here they call it the north side. Second name on the bridge is called Old Town. around here you know people need cement the thing is people could use cement I'm sure you know a sidewalk that could be redone you know what I mean but it's priorities we're priorities right now Not doing too well. Oh, we're across the street. There's no sidewalk on either side, but well, there's a bike path, bike route over there. I guess actually there is a sidewalk here. What the heck? There's a sidewalk here. I was 
gonna wear this. Seems new to me, but I don't know. It's got some rusty manhole covers on it. There. Who knows when this was put in. You know, when I ask questions like that, like, who knows this? Not, uh, what's the word? Facetious? Um, it's a better word. Probably facetious might not even be the one, but I, I mean it. I mean, like, if somebody were willing to answer that sort of a question, I would be interested in knowing that. You know? Like, Planted that tree there. Outside here. Was it always there? Or did somebody actually plant it there? Outside of Besser. Who knows? Your dad? Was it your mother? Did she plant the trees around Besser? Let me know. They'd be cool. corner had a lot of pipes on it little pipes you know inch diameter corner of that corner and a little slippage some fell off scraped up the sidewalk no <laughs> I gotta I gotta not say that too much so here's a sign sign for you somewhat new for me and older people but for any kid or anybody in their 20s I'm sure they've seen it many times coming through here and here we have Woodward Avenue corridor where is it get on the screen Woodward Avenue corridor 701 Aplex United Way of Northeast Michigan. United Way of Northeast Michigan. Uh, makes me wonder what do they do? Um, 750 World Center for Concrete Technology. That's part of Alpena Community College. 751 Northern Lights Arena. Oh, come on. Oh, let's go square. Let's give this sign the proper respect it deserves. Sunrise Soccer Complex, Crittenden Fields, put a ways down, 3249 ACC Lumberjack Meadows, Disc Golf Course, so uh, you know, do you play disc golf? I'm sure if you play disc golf in LP, you already know about that, there's only like two or three courses around. You know what I think should be on there? The Humane Society. The Humane Society should be on there. It's much farther down in Woodward. Here you can see all the way down where it's, where it's light. Put the zoom again. Where it's light all the way down there. Sun's breaking through the clouds. It's way down there, but the uh, Humane Society is out there, where many, many animals are currently. Maybe I should visit those animals. Actually, that might be a nice thing to do. Maybe I will. Anyway. Since I'm here right now, 
over there we got Van Lair Hall. And my idea for a road to go from Johnson, where Johnson comes right off the of US 23 and hooks up to Long Lake over there. Uh, it would create an island out of this little chunk of land here, which, you know, for now would remain undeveloped. Uh, there'd be a lot of traffic through here, so that island might need to be fairly large if a, st if a structure is to ever be put on it, like a building. But if it's a statue or something, you know, a small park. It could be. Uh, doesn't need to be a roundabout, but I was just thinking, you know, that's kind of the idea. Maybe a fountain or something. Maybe in the future it might be like that. Uh, if there ever is a road going through here, there may be. I think it would be a good place for a road. Because through these trees. I see I'm going a little farther north than I usually go. But through those trees, there's uh, I can, you know, there's a vehicle. There's a vehicle over there. And then it's the parking lot for the uh, the apartments, the dorms. The dorms at Alpena Community College. So I got some some good stories times there, but maybe in the future. Uh, anyhow, it wouldn't it wouldn't cut through that parking lot. It would be just south of that parking lot, actually more east of that parking lot, where it would begin to cut in and then go through, and then. Uh, Woodward over here. The road would go through here. I don't know if you can see Besser through the woods there, but it would go just north of Besser. So Besser would be something along the, you know, like a normal city block. Enough distance uh, behind Besser. So that, uh, you know, just like you're going down the street, you got the side of the road, you got some grass, got some grass, uh, sidewalk, you know, a little space, a little yardage, maybe, and, uh, and then the building, maybe even not any sort of yardage, the building could just come right up to the sidewalk. And people could just walk right along that. It's another another possibility. Just some thoughts. Friendly guy in the truck. Honk at me. A lot of friendly people are here in Alpena. Nice place. It's a good home. It has been anyway. I'm sure all of you come from places that are good homes. Whether you feel that way about them or not, right, you know, you might feel like you got short end of the stick, bad parents, bad community, this didn't work out, but it happens, you know, I could easily hold a lot more things against people than I do, but, you know, I've forgiven people for a lot of stuff. get bogged down in too much. Some things you don't you don't forgive. Things you don't forget. Things you have to. Otherwise they're way too heavy. And you, your friends, your life, your family, your whole community. That's a badass windmill. I like this little green area. See like something 
Something's going on here. Got a greenhouse. This is cool. Got a windmill. Let's figure it out. So there's like a greenhouse here. Just uh just off campus. Pretty cool. Cool. Let's see we got we got a ditch here. We got a ditch, probably a lot of water in this ditch. We're gonna find out. And the water in the ditch. Oh look, somebody walked through here recently. Cool. I feel like somebody took my thunder. I like stuff like this. Some little trees growing here. I didn't, I didn't even know this existed. It's pretty cool. Whoever's idea this was, thanks. It's cool. It's the beginning, you know, you gotta be resourceful. You know what I really like about that windmill? Right, that windmill. Why do we call it a windmill? It's a bad habit. The wind turbine? Generator? Windmill. I guess it kind of is. No, it's not a windmill. I guess not. It's a windmill. But, uh... Um... You can tell the... You can tell the direction that the wind's going, and also the speed. You get an indication of the speed by... I keep an indication of the speed by the blade and an indication of the direction of where it's pointing. The direction it's coming from. Which is changing quite a bit. We're getting some wind from the south, which isn't too bad. But generally from the west. <laughs> When it comes from the north, no, you know, actually, it almost never comes from the north. But if it comes from the northwest, then, uh, I was really picking up. Um, if it comes from the northwest, then it's cold, you know, bringing, bringing that cold air over Canada. Greenhouse back there's a dorm where uh, I grew up. The bathroom, the laundry room. It's a good story there. Really good story. Someday. I'll tell you. Not today. Oh, we got a hat. Man down. We got a hat down. Somebody, your hat flew out of the back of your truck. I think this is a good hat. It looks like a good hat. What do we got here? No bad ideas. No bad ideas, folks. Headwear for the counterculture. Snap back. It's a good hat. Man down. Lost a good hat. We'll hang this uh, good hat up here so that the good hat owner may someday see. I don't know, I'm guessing it came from somebody using the concrete tech. Might be doomed. I don't think the owner of that hat's ever gonna find it.
Oh my goodness, there's a freaking solar panel here. This may be the first time in my life that I've ever seen a, a real solar panel up close. I know that's going to sound really dumb, like some people out there who, who have them all over your neighborhood or something, or they're just all over the place, but actually get up close and to see it. It's impressive. People wave to me like, like, what the hell? But look, this, this to me, this is beautiful. You know, I mean, come on, you guys. Look at it. I mean, that's really a solar panel. We're living in the future here. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Got a wind turbine up there and a solar panel. This, this reminds me, I don't, I don't like talking about games too much, but... Right now I'm playing a game, it's called Planet Base. It's a lot of fun. And the two sources of electricity in that game are windmill. Why do I say windmill? Wind turbine, wind generator, wind, wind collector, wind turbine. Turbine, turbine, wind turbine. Solar panel, easy, no problem there. It's not a solar ball, it's not a solar cube, it's not a, a light panel, it doesn't emit light, it collects it. Windmills, you know, they, take, they take the wind and grind wheat, <laughs> or help people to run machinery, like Things to cut out leather, or maybe pump. What you know, you're gonna pump for water. Hook up a windmill. Mill, the mill. If you're not milling 